Alan, I smell something weird in the laboratory today. Lee, a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. Mmm, that smells amazing. But that's not what I'm smelling. I have some new equipment in the laboratory. Perhaps it's off-gassing from the plastic, kind of like a new car. I don't think it's that. Oh, you must mean my lunch. Oh my goodness, yes, that's what it is. Odor complaints are a common scenario in many industrial consumer products. Some odors are desirable, some not so much. The good news is we have the means to monitor these volatile chemicals or compounds and have provided effective solutions for the industry. It just so happens we have a portfolio of instruments that are designed to measure these compounds and much more. Actually, our separation science portfolio, which we call chromatography, provides solutions to challenges experienced in the petroleum, environmental, food, forensics, semiconductor, and several other industries. Please join us while we discuss three types of instruments that are used for these solutions. Here is our automated headspace sample introduction system. If it can be smelled, it can be analyzed by headspace. Headspace is a sample introduction technique that provides sample concentration and a convenient way to introduce volatile compounds into a gas chromatograph. Why concentrate? To improve sensitivity. The human nose is very sensitive. Several compounds require concentration in order to be measured at the level where it is detected by the human nose. For instance, the wet cardboard odor that can be present in consumer goods can be smelled by most people at 100 parts per trillion. So we need to be able to measure at those levels. Since most products have several volatile compounds contributing to the overall odor, we use gas chromatography and column technology to separate these chemicals from each other. The headspace transfers the chemicals into one end of this 30 meter column. The column provides a separation and transfers the now separated chemicals into a detector such as the mass spectrometer for detection and identification. Mass spectrometry, which we typically call mass spec, is really cool. As a gas chromatography detector, it is sensitive, selective, and universal. It helps us to identify these unknown compounds. It also lets us know the amount of the compound present in the product. How sensitive? Sometimes more sensitive than the human nose. And as we know, just because it smells good does not mean it's good for us. Thank goodness for the identifying power of our mass spec, which helps us figure out what compounds are present. Here's an example of a mass spectrum of isoamyl acetate found in bananas. Now we have all this fantastic information, but we cannot realize the solution until we share it with the rest of the world. Perkin Elmer supplies excellent software tools enabling the reporting, organization, and archiving of results. For example, our TurboMass data system for our Claris SQ8 mass spectrometer and our informatics solutions such as our business intelligence tool, Spotfire. So the solution is threefold. First, our world-class headspace and thermal desorber instruments volatilize and concentrate the odor-causing compounds. We perform this on our TurboMatrix headspace trap family of products, as well as our TurboMatrix automated thermal desorber. We love the productivity and automation that our solutions bring to the workflow with our leading headspace sampler accommodating up to 110 samples. Secondly, speaking of productivity, our world-class Claris 680 gas chromatograph can cool from 450 degrees to 40 degrees in less than two minutes. That is the fastest on the market. We really care about providing people productivity. And third, our state-of-the-art mass spectrometer contributes to productivity by maximizing uptime with our patented smart source requiring no tools for routine maintenance. For more information on this application, please check out the link in the description box below. And visit us online for more GC applications. How do we analyze odor-causing compounds? Simple. Perkin Elmer. <laughs>